Hi everyone, this is Cindy and I have finished this journal. I made this completely off camera and I just came home from um, a 4th of July trip and came into my craft room and it was in a kit. I grabbed the kit and made it all in one night and uh, I just, you know, was eager to craft and I just got going. And the last thing I did for it was to find the closure and I had several I was auditioning and I went with this darker green um, um, yeah, this seam binding, seam binding, that's what it is. I don't know, I just like it with this. So anyway, this journal started out as a pillowcase sham, and it is embroidered, and it had different um, kind of prints on it, because you see the back is a little different. And I, but on this one, I just love that purple and green together. So, and I had this oval doily that just worked perfectly on it. So I just glued that on there. Had a few little flowers in my stash. I have more than a few little flowers in my stash, but I picked these <laughs> to put on there. And then I put butterflies on as the um, signature string deck charms. I could have put, I think I have some crosses. I'm just not sure where they're at. But I like the butterflies and the colors go great. So anyway, I mentioned crosses because this one I'm calling a prayer journal. And I went overboard on this. Here's this one. And here's the one. You kind of see. Well, maybe not a whole lot of difference. But, like, I know I've heard Gail say, and I know you guys know who I'm talking about when I say Gail. Um, she puts, like, uh, in a single signature, she'll put, like, 12 pockets. I did 12 items, pockets, tucks journaling places per side of the signature. So it's got like 24 things. So it just went crazy. I went crazy. And you'll see what I mean. Let's just go. Okay, inside is the um, pillow sham inside the, of the pillow sham. Some, when I was cutting it up into journals, you know how a pillow sham has got the opening to put the pillow in? Some journals had that opening on them and some didn't. This is one that didn't. It had just the solid um, fabric that I could use for the solid background. So anyway, that doesn't really matter, but that's the inside of the pillow sham. Colors again work perfect with this. So I glued a piece of lace on there. I could have sewn it on if I'd have been thinking ahead enough, but I wasn't, so it's glued on. And I used a kit, oh boy, shoot. I was gonna remember what kit this was and I didn't. Um, I just searched um, prayer journal kit, digital kits on Etsy and found too many that I liked. Um, so this is one of them, and I will find out who it was and put it in the description box. But it had, is definitely made for a three signature journal. So much stuff, and that's why I'm kind of overloaded here. I had several things left over, so um, definitely a great value for whatever the money was. But anyway, this is one of the items in it, and it was made to be like a little booklet. And I just went ahead and added some blank pages in there, and... Um, this one had a little writing on it, so I just covered it up in my... I bought a something from the um, thrift store. It was like a scrapbooking kit, and it had some little doodaddy things in it. It's a little punch out, so that's where these came from. This wasn't something I cut out from this kit. So anyway, a little booklet in this front pocket, and this is one of the pages from the kit. And then I just... All the scrapbook, all the digital pages are from the kit. I threw in some extra pages like this green... Um, just, you know, the supplement, supplement too much because, oh, I didn't tell about this. Uh, it has 15 pages sewn in, so that gives you 60 surfaces to work on. And yeah, I think that's all I did tell. So anyway, okay, this is a fabric pocket. It is on book page, folded up, and then just scraps of fabrics and laces glued on it. And inside here, what do I have? Two of the journaling cards from the kit. And the journaling cards have scriptures on them. And, of course, they're blank on the back for you to add more scriptures or your thoughts or your prayers or whatever you want. Um, so that's there. And then I made it as a belly band because it was too wide for my pages. So um, this was a journaling card I had. Book page, space to write on the front and back, and then an image. And I just added a quote, creating me a clean heart, oh God. Psalms 5110. And I signed up just because I like getting things in the mail <laughs> for um, a monthly stamp that's a religious themed. So, and it's from May May. And I will put her link or her information below too because um, I don't know. She had 
the whole thing was about getting clean, clean in the God and getting washed by the blood, that sort of thing. And it had bathtubs and things with it. So I'm not really into the bathtub stamps, but it was fun because I like, quote, I mean, scripture stamps. Okay, I kind of got sidetracked there. Okay, anyway, this is from the kit. I added some lace to this. This is old vintage trim. A wallpaper pocket I had in my stash. And in it is another journaling card that comes with the kit, with the quote. And then I glued these things in. <laughs> I bought a box of these. They are prayer cards, like you just take one a day and it has a quote on and a scripture on there. So I included that. This is a page one day I had, I went through just junk and stash and found a whole bunch of those. You know how you get the um, address labels in the mail? They want you to send money back, that sort of thing. These are some I had and I just cut off the little picture that goes on the end of the address label. And I just put them all around this page. And you'll see another side of it in a minute. I had this fabric block, I mean a quilt block, already in my stash, the purples. So I just made it, put it on some um, cardstock, then stitched around it, made it a tuck, and had one of the scripture cards from the kit in there. And then this is the page from the kit, and then this little um, flip over thing is in there too. You put it over the side of the page. So I put that in there, made it a tuck, and one of these is from the kit. And this is another box of card. You know, I was gonna put something over there. It says, thank you for visiting, but it doesn't matter. It's um, like if you came to church, they would give you, oh, they would mail it out. Okay, so you visited a church that you wrote down your name and address on the visitor log thing, and then they would send you a little note. So this was a box of those sort of notes. So anyway, so anyway, definitely can be journaled on the back. And on this side, I have a collage card. I put a. I have a digital, not digital, uh, die, die uh, of crosses, die cut thing of crosses. And there's one. It's kind of hard to tell. It blends in. It's made out of uh, wallpaper. And then I had a, a quote from some other. I mean, I've been buying like little, um, you know, flip things like calendar things. One prayer a day or scripture a day those type books, devotional type books, and then I've been cutting out the scriptures for prayer journals. So that means I have a whole lot more than what you see here. And this is another reason why I just went crazy. Every single page has got something on it. This was a page from a, um, the blue is a page from a magazine that I love the pictures of the um, um, Oh, hydrangeas and um, so this side of course it was nothing that we wanted to see so I had this stationary page with the purple flowers on it or blue whatever they are so I glued those on there got on there so you have writing space and then it, the page tore a little bit so I put some washi tape on it all right we have a doily that's glued down oh come on okay there we go all right another page from the kit and some of these pages like this one was meant to be a background page but you know I just got hurry in a hurry and just printed everything out and I thought Oh, that could have been a background, but that's okay. I use it. Um, so anyway, this is another one of those pocket. Well, this is a pocket that I'm pretty sure was Gil made these. I saw her make these, and it's like twelve by 12, uh, six by six paper. So anyway, it's a pocket here and a pocket here, and these are little scripture cards from the kit. And the scrapbook paper is not. It's from some pad I had, and then this I cut from something. It's another quote. Well, it says overcome evil with good falsehood with truth, and hatred with love. So I just glued that on a circle. I cut, punched out of some scrapbook paper, and then this makes a tall tag. Um, some rainbow type. Um, it was like a big legal pad I have, so there's that. This is from the, a page from the kit. And then this is a greeting card. So I wanted it to open up so you can write, 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 and write all around it. And then also you can um, have a make it into a pocket and have another one though. the journaling cards from the kit that I put one of the tabs from the kit on there. Okay, right there. Okay, this is from a book on houseplants. I didn't, the words were here, so I covered it up with some, what I call a messy journaling spot, which is blank paper with just crazy stitching around it. This pocket was from the kit and it just was, you know, three different layers. You glued them and you have a layered pocket. There was a, one of these coin envelopes in the kit. I did not glue it down because I thought you might just want to write on it and have it fold up. Or if you want it, whoever gets this wants it to use it as 
uh, an actual envelope, then you could they can glue it down and put it where they want. But anyway, I just slipped that in this pocket. I have um, two a journaling a tag that's made from collage paper that's got um, napkins on it that's got the hydrangeas. And I'm going to get it. And then this is from a book I found on different quotes, but they made them like you can kind of color them in a little bit. So anyway, I thought that was cool. So put that on the tag, collage base. And then I have a little scrap left over, so I'll put another stamped quote on there and a little uh, cross that's in that um, set of die cuts I have. And I just went to Amazon and said, you know, cross die cuts. And that's what came up. And then I had this little scrap of paper left over. It went with that pocket I just showed a few pages back. And um, this one. So I just used my edge punch. This one right here. Um, sure, it's from Hobby Lobby at one time. And uh, just put it in here so whoever gets this can decorate whatever they want to with it. This was an envelope I put in the center. It's a big business envelope. So decorated on the front with a stamped quote from Hobby Lobby, the stamp. This is part of that um, cross die cut, had a Bible with it. And a fabric cluster to kind of weight down that flap and then a journaling card from the kit. And then this decoration in the corner came from that scrapbook uh, kit I got from a thrift store. This is a page from the digital kit and so is this pocket. And I added just this, this from that same scrapbook kit. And then this was in my stash. I'm not sure. I think it's a postcard I have. Kindest greetings. Uh, and it's, at first I thought it was a Christmas one, but it's not just a kindest greetings. So anyway, you can see the actual postcard. Is This is copy, copy the front, copy the back, glue them together as a postcard. But you can either write on it or just have it as a piece of, you know, ephemera in your uh, pocket here. Another quote from the kit. There's tons of them and I I tried to use all of them but I was just was getting too big so there's still some I didn't use all right this was a page from a book it was like how to paint and then they showed you I don't know just different things well this I thought you definitely you know decorate or write around it and on this side it had some words there so I put this notepad there so you can write instead of using their words you can have yours okay um, so we're seeing everything on the back side now I've already explained what they are this is a little booklet made out of two playing cards I covered inside with paper you can write on there it's uh, hinged with some fabric another cluster this envelope came with the kit and it also comes with journaling cards to put in the kits so here's this one and then of course writing space on the back and it's so wide I put it on sideways and then I also put it on as a pocket so I put an index card there and this is a T um, card I got it's a digital from somebody sorry don't know I have terrible about remembering another pocket from the kit I didn't add anything to that one this is one of my vintage uh, guest checks with just scraps on there and then you can barely see that cross that's there that's on that uh, die set I have and it's cut out of wallpaper flower on the back um, I had this sack made out of book page and napkin and I added this cross on there I think that's I'm not sure where I got that actually so I got this cross. It looks like it's made out of scrapbook paper. I don't know. It's something I've cut out, I guess. Or it could have been a die cut. I guess not die cuts. I don't know what they call them. I get them at Hobby Lobby. They're like chipboard images. I don't know if I have any here or not. But uh, it could be where that's from. This is from a um, greeting card of some sort that I cut the parts off that didn't really apply. And then I just um, covered up whatever might be under there <laughs> with some fabric uh, snippet there. Just made a journaling card out of it. Nothing is safe around me. I'm going to use it for a junk journal. This is a purple envelope I had. I thought it would be great. So I glued it on as I flip out. Oops, there goes my um, edge punch. Just so that um, whoever gets this journal can have an idea of what you can do with every single page in this journal. You can do flip outs if you want or whatever. This was a little booklet that came with the kit. And I just left it... Um, I didn't add any pages or anything to it. I just made it, kept it the way it was. Okay. Slips in here. 
decorated with that. Just It was from a, I think, wedding invitation thing. Okay, I had this fabric quilt block that I thought it would make a great little pocket. It's too wide, though, so I put it on sideways. All my pockets are sideways. Um, but I thought it was just purples. Let's use it. Two of the quotes, um, I mean, scripture cards from the kit. And like I said, you're getting an idea how big this kit is and the fact that it could easily do many more signatures. Okay, this is that magazine page again with the hydrangeas. And on this side again, I covered it with a page from some note, a notepad. And on this side, we have another one of those flip around things that goes around the page. So you have a tuck on both sides. On this side, I added a fabric cluster and a little cross cut from those uh, die kit. Uh, two more journaling scripture cards. Another little booklet. And on this side, the same thing. Just uh, another booklet. I mean, like I said, it is a big kit. And another scripture card. And I didn't do anything to embellish these because I was already getting too thick as it was. So, um, okay. Because I, one thing, I made a prayer journal for myself several months ago. And one thing I know I needed was writing space. I have places to put scriptures, thoughts, notes from um, sermons or devotionals or whatever. So I need writing space. So that's why I try to include as many of these as possible and maintain the writing spaces on the pages. This is the other side. I told you you would see those um, images from the address labels. Another thing, I just um, had this. I had the scripture on the bottom, Great is the Glory of the Lord. Had the purple grapes. I, I got to include it, so I put it on that page. This is one of the scripture cards. I made it into a tuck, and then I have this journaling card. It's just from collage pages from magazines. I put some uh, gesso on there to kind of tone it down. I had this stamp, Wash uh, Me, I Will Be Whiter Than Snow, and this was that set from May May Makes, I think is the name of the website or YouTube channel, or business, May May Makes, and um, so I told you about the bathtub, so I just used the scripture quotes. And this uh, fish is actually from, um, I think, of Hobby Lobby. I got a pack and it had stuff like that in there. So, But it was pink. I didn't want pink. <laughs> so I used it to trace around a book page that I had put purple watercolors on there. So um, anyway, I just used it as a pattern. So I'll use the pink one in another journal. So there's that. Page from the kit. Page from the kit. Um, this was some scrapbook paper I had. Love the colors with this journal. Made it to a little tall pocket and added two more scripture cards. One a tag and one a journaling card. And then we're not done yet. I have a back pocket of the lace. And I had another note pad page. Quote on it. And then I had this um, greeting card. In my stash, I love the colors, so I included that. So that's in the back. Okay, so that's this big fat journal. It will also be for sale on my Etsy shop as soon as I get listed. Hopefully, it's there by the time you see this video. So if anyone's interested, it will be there, and I will see you in the next journal. So thank you for watching. Bye.